right, Matrix and Roadshow supporters, we're going to talk about one of my favorite writers, somebody that actually puts out good quality writing content that leads to actual good shows that people love. I don't think it's surprising that Yellowstone is like the most watched show on television and everybody's watching Tulsa King, which is another show he's written. And they all have really good audience scores, not critic scores, which he acknowledges critics are worthless as tits on a bar hog and the critics hate his shows. And they've, I think one of his shows has literally like a 3% on it. And the audience scores is like a 95 if that doesn't tell you all you need to know about where woke Hollywood is and woke mainstream media, well, I don't know what I don't know what else to tell you. But what he has truly said, Taylor Sheridan, in case you're wondering, all the mayor of Kingstown is one of his shows, Tulsa King, Yellowstone, 1883, 1923, all really, really good shows that he written. One of my favorites, the movie starring Jeff Bridges. Ben Foster, Chris Pine, Hell or High Water, a great film. Two brothers go out there, start robbing West Texas banks, and Jeff Bridges is a Texas Ranger trying to catch them, and it's a fantastic film. Well, he has come out, and, well, this is going to break him and Hollywood because he has uttered words that they are not going to appreciate. Because he has come out and he has absolutely shredded the Colorado court decision to try to remove Donald Trump from the ballot. Now, of course, the Supreme Court's taking a look. And surely to God, that's going to be reversed. But nonetheless, it was a a extremely dangerous precedent to even go down that road. And, of course, other states are going to try to follow suit. That's why the Supreme Court needs to strike that down quick so we can just nip it in the bud, but he has come out and he has absolutely obliterated the Colorado Supreme Court. And he talks about, look, whether you support Trump or not, that's one thing, but you should never go down the road of trying to remove a candidate from the ballot because you disagree with them politically. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, we're heading towards a bad place. We're, you, one could say we're already in a bad place. Breitbart, Taylor Sheridan, a powerhouse TV producer and co-creator of the hit show Yellowstone, roasted the Colorado Supreme Court last week for ruling that Donald Trump should be removed from the state's 2024 election ballot. I mean, it's election interference at its highest level. We're just going to remove it from the ballot. Uh, Yeah, Trump's right. Appearing on the Joe Rogan experience on January 4th. I'll have to go back and see this one. Sheridan calls the partisan court's move, quote, dangerous. Of course, it's, an, it's a, I think, an all-Democrat Supreme Court or close to it. Specifically, what Sheridan said of removing Trump from the ballot was that it was, quote, dangerous as shit. People can think of Donald Trump however they want to think of Donald Trump. It really doesn't matter who the individual is, Sheridan explained. A court in Colorado is going to essentially make a decision based upon a trial that has not happened yet. Yeah, nobody has actually seen Trump in court over insurrection. None of that crap. None of it. They're basically saying he's guilty of something he hasn't been tried for. And they're removing him from a ballot, the TV producer pointed out. Sheridan went on to say that the court has set a very dangerous precedent. Right now, maybe the Democrats feel they're justified in that action because they're so terrified of what Donald Trump may do if he becomes president again. But they are thinking about what's going to happen in 20 or 30 years because this is how it has now been established, question mark? Sheridan then harkened back to the 2000 election. People had forgotten that Al Gore and the Democratic Party, and I didn't vote for George W. Bush, They contested the election then. They said it was rigged. They took it to Supreme Court. He didn't have it. We really didn't have a president really for almost two months. Yeah, I mean, I I remember that. By the way, Hillary is still claiming election, uh, 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 you know, a, a false election outcomes. Nobody ever says says or talks about that on the left ever. 
that she was going on, it seemed like years later, still going on various media outlets claiming that Trump didn't really just crush her in the election. It's funny how that works the other way. Sheridan had a banner year in 2023, while the future of his signature series Yellowstone fell into some doubt after reports erupted that star Kevin Costner was looking to exit the series. He had hit follow-ups in prequels 1883 and 1923, a pair of show that, shows that followed the history of the Dutton family from before the modern era in which Yellowstone is set in. In January, Sheridan was awarded the prestigious Medallion of Choctaw Nation Chief Gary Baton for the TV producer's effort to tell uh, tell the tale of American history from the perspective of American Native Americans. So uh, he really is extremely talented. By the way, him and one of my favorite actors who plays Rip on Yellowstone, Cole Hauser, they literally got into a knockdown drag out fist fight over some coffee. Something about uh, one of them owns a coffee company, and I think maybe the other one does too. And one of them was, or, or maybe Cole Hauser's coffee company is, the logo was too close to the logo on Yellowstone, and they literally said, F it, let's fight. And they threw down. I mean, uh, seriously, the writer and producer of Yellowstone got into a knockdown drag out with Cole Hauser, who plays Rip, one of, one of his stars on his series, Arguably the most popular character on there. Taylor Sheridan said, hmm, don't care, let's go. Cole said, okay, let's do this. I mean, Cole Hauser's really living out the character of Rip in real life. This is still the same blonde-headed guy that played in Too Fast, Too Furious as some Cuban drug dealer. I still can't get over that. You want to talk about having a, a wide range, you know. Cole Hauser's got a wide range. Point is... Man, Wind River's a very good movie. Jeremy Renner's in that. Mayor's a, Mayor of Kingstown. Kyle Chandler's in that for like a half a second, but Jeremy Renner's in that. Very good show. Hell or High Water. Oh, my God. Great film. Great film. And uh, this guy's got all kinds of other things coming. Now, supposedly, there's a feud between him and Matthew McConaughey's talking about not doing this next Yellowstone. And it's something to do with the writing. Well, if if McConaughey doesn't like Sheridan's writing, oh, then just let McConaughey walk, you know? Because that's what the fans of this show wants is what this guy is going to write in tone, okay, and in story. We're going to trust him before McConaughey. Let's put it that way. I don't trust McConaughey's politics, by the way. Just throwing that out there. He's absolutely right about the Donald Trump thing. I mean, regardless of whether or not you agree with the man's politics or any of that, there's no way in hell they should have even attempted to remove the dude from the ballot. Ever. You want to talk about corrupt? I mean, they are literally, they are shaking in fear over Donald Trump. It, I, you know, it used to be hilarious, but it's, it's heading into a dangerous lane now. And he's just saying it. it it's setting a dangerous precedent. Now, as far as Hollywood goes, for you know, look, that goes to tell you right there. Taylor Sheridan is such a good writer and producer that even Hollywood can't cancel him because uh, he's got, like, the highest rated shows on television across the board. I think he also did, like, he, he's done a lot of acting. Like, he's been on Yellowstone as a, I believe, a horse dealer, uh, selling horses to the Duttons training them, yada, yada, yada. And he's been in Sons of Anarchy. He was involved with writing some of those. And I think maybe even going back as far as The Shield, but I'm not sure. I think he might have been in an episode or two of The Shield back in the day. That's my favorite show of all time. Anyway, tell me what you think, Matrix and Roadshow fans. Hollywood's not going to like what this guy had to say. And he just doesn't care, which is like, a major breath of fresh air coming out of anybody that has to be involved with Hollywood. I got to thinking about the Trump supporting actors and actresses. And I was looking at a list of them the other day and I was like, damn, we could have a really good movie just with, you know, like James Woods and John Volt and 
John Voight and all these guys like that. I'm like, man, you want to talk about some like Academy Award winning kind of actors. Throw a little Scott Bayo in there and some cameo where he just gets shot and dumped in a trunk or something. Name his character Charles. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.